welcome and welcome to the Arsenal Present. If you're seeing my channel for the first time, be kind enough to strike the like button, subscribe, yeah, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Let me reiterate it or repeat for those at the back who hear me the first time. Like the video, subscribe, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. So let's discuss this. Uh, the, the, the faint voices we heard yesterday. Uh, congratulations to Man City one more time. They won the league and has not pushed them to the edge. Uh, shout out to Ateta, who has bridged the gap in two years, finished ab above club. That's an achievement, but we can see the progress there because also it's not an achievement. I'm not saying an achievement, there's a process of success, right? If you want a sustainable success, you don't just want a one time thing and you go back into the abyss, you want to win and sustain. And what Arsenal and Michael Ateta, in conjunction with Richard Gallic and Edu, plus the financial where the crown case are trying to build, is something sustainable. You can see how we've renewed uh contracts of the players we want to keep. Uh, we've made sure we have quality, we're not selling our key players, we're going to add in the summer. So, so the future looks bright. Yeah, yesterday was disappointing to us. This season was a tad disappointing because we didn't win any significant trophy. I'm not going to not acknowledge that from the fans who are not happy at all. I understand, but sometimes you can tell that some of these fans are overreaching. They are asked for something that is impossible. You can't in one breath shout, Pep is the best manager in the world. And a second brother say, why is Ateta not usurping him easily? It doesn't make sense like that. Ateta came to a dumpster fire of a team and has taken us this far. He has moved us from where we we're not even considered to where we're not competing aggressively with Pep to the fact that Klopp has seen the handwriting on the wall and decided to shift. That might be a controversial statement. Some of you might not agree with me, especially the Liverpool fans. But let's look at handwriting on the wall. Why is Klopp suddenly tired? Why is he leaving? Because he can see he doesn't want to be taught for It's going very hard right, to fight figuratively against Pep, who has been in a team. Before Pep came to that Man City, people are forgetting that Man City had won the league with Man City. They've been investing, then Pep comes and invests. They've invested over a billion. Whether, whether I want to talk about the way we did it with the charges or not, that's, that's the story from that day. That team has experience, longevity, investment. You called Pep the best manager. They have the best squad. Yet, Arsenal has pushed them and they're actually HD with two points. And you're saying the next thing is to, 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 to move out with Calatis and bring in a manager that can take us above and win it. That it doesn't make no sense. It, it, so, what manager are you asking for? Of course, I saw this. What's his name? Yadman on AFTB who was just saying some things that didn't make no sense. But to him, I said in fans, the comments were, were lapping it up. The comments were, yes, we need a manager that can take us above the line. What manager is that? Some of you. I, I don't understand. You think if Ateta, let's say hypothetically, the Arsenal hierarchy decide to give what you want and we start with Mikel Ateta, which manager are you, are you going to bring that will do this, that will push Pep all the way? Because you are, you can't say Pep is the best manager. So who is the second best? Klopp? Or Ancelotti? Or a dying Moreno, figuratively in terms of his managerial career? What manager? Be careful what you wish for. And I mean it by be careful what you wish for. I understand your disappointment, but do not become retarded because you're disappointed. He that shares tears still sees. Like, what, what are we talking about? I am disappointed we didn't win the league. I want to win the league. I want to win the FA Cup. I want to win the Premier League. I want to win the Champions League. But I understand that when, when it comes to success, sustainable success comes with the process. It's not microwave that you just hit it up. No, 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 no. Where Man City are was not just due to Pep. They've been building it. Because, at the, uh, sorry, Pep didn't buy Aguero. Who won league for him too? Like they are Pep is not by De Bruyne. So it's a process, right? It's going to take a process and sustainable investment, which the Cronkies have, have volunteered and are willing to do. And what, what did Bekatsata say yesterday after the defeat? Uh, sorry, after we lost the, 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 the title to the Man City. Nobody has to tell me what level it, a level it is. I have been there. I know what to do. This He knows what to do. And before that, if you go through the 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 the, uh, the program note where Josh Crocker said that we club is not standing still, they are going to continue to invest into it. You should be excited. I'll be genuinely excited because our manager is saying he knows what to do. The club are saying they're not going to stand still. They're not going to let rest on their laurels. Why are you trying to bring in confusion? I know why. Because confusion is an incentive for you guys to grow your channels and to make some money. It's about the money. You don't actually love the club. You, I guess, most of you are contrarians. Just argue for arguing's sake. Not that you actually want change. You just want to get change to cause more chaos. So we remain 
in, in this hamster way of moving around and not progressing. Like I said it, and I'm going to trace it. I am disappointed, but I'm not stupid. You can be disappointed and not stupid. I've seen it. I, there's evidence of progress. Evidence of progress. There is no way. There is no way. Look at it. After the eight games, Arsenal 128, Man City 128. The difference was we, we lost two more games than Man City. Right there. Mass, Arsenal lost five games and uh, drew five games. Man City lost three games and drew seven games. Look at the goal difference. Plus 62, plus 62. Marginal differences. So all this nonsense about <laughs> sacking this man is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You can wish it. You can talk about it. You can go on panels and push it because there's not going to be much news this, this summer. So you have to get a way of getting some traction on your, on your channel. And we know there are so many low-level thinking people, so many naive fans, so many low-IQ fans that you can't actually feast on, metaphorically. You are feasting on the unsuspecting fans who can't think for themselves. A lot of people are sheeps. There's a lot of head mentality. They, can't, they, they, are, they cannot think for themselves. So they have to look for someone who can think for them. Whether it's for good or for bad or for the indifference, they don't know how to think for themselves. How can you advocate, suggest, or push forward the notion that Mika Teta should be considered for a fire or, or a sack because we narrowly missed out the Premier League season uh, trophy to Man City? You are borderly insane or psychopathic. I can't take you seriously. Sorry, I, I ain't taking you seriously. There is no way we are sacking Michael Ateta. I am sure the Cronkies are going to actually negotiate a fine new contract for him this summer. We're going to support him in transform window and we're going to push for the title more aggressively. Last season, the gap was kind of not as far, but there was a big, big, big gap. This season is just two points. Next season, I am personally looking forward to next season. The quality of players we have in our ranks and the quality is yet to come. I am personally looking for next season and I'm very confident that. There will be trophies, not just one. There will be trophies next season. So if you don't share my optimism and confidence, I understand it. But do not be shouting Sakateta when there is no better manager in, in the market to do what he has done. And I'm, I am saying, I'm putting, show me that manager who can do what Ateta has done. Because some of you are, all of you are claiming Pep is the best manager, but Ateta should easily usurp him. Some of you are claiming Club is after Pep, and yet Club is leaving, knowing that the new sheriff in town. The same club you want, Ateta has come second twice and has come third twice and is and has left Liverpool. So you are not making no sense. You are just being emotional, over, over erratic, and trying to just stay up on necessary conversation, which I call it being a contrarian. Just being a contrarian. So for me, Ateta all the way, if you disagree, like I say, this is not an echo chamber. Disagree with the logic. Disagree with some objectivity. Show me why. Put, put, put the data to it, not some emotional rant, right? Not tell me 700 million down the drain, like the players are leaving. And I saw that topic from that clown, 700 million. It doesn't make no sense. It's 700 million down the drain when the players are still staying, the players are young, and the average uh, age of the squad is 25, and we are moving forward. How is that 700 million down the drain? Because that kind of topic or terminal can trigger unsuspecting fans into a, a false reaction. That's not the, the fact is we are progressive. We are catching up quickly and rapidly and profits will follow. If you want sustainable success, you have to build it. There's nothing like microwave success, right? It doesn't work. It works in some fantasy, fantasy land. But in reality, there's a process to a sustainable succession. So let me know what you think in the comment section. On your way out, I'll be kind enough to so like the video. Very, very important. Strike the like button. Subscribe yet, subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. The conversion continues throughout the summer. And let's see how we can come to a logical conclusion for those who are willing to have a same conversation. For those who are not unwilling, who are stuck on stupid, I have no rebuttal for you because I know there is nothing that can change your mind logically. You are stuck on stupid and I am not trying to rehabilitate you. It is what it is. Like the video, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. Very, very important. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>